Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, and I hope you're well today. How many of you know that God keeps His promises? God, it is impossible, the Bible tells us, for God to lie. What He says, He does every time. Now, it may not be in the timetable that you think it should be, but God always keeps His promises. And so we look at the the book of Joshua chapter 1, we see that the baton of leadership has been passed on to Joshua from Moses and that God now gives his, his promise to Joshua. He's going into an unknown land. Yes, they've, uh, they've scouted it out, uh, but in truth, they understand what lies before them. And even though you know what lies before you, it doesn't always mean that you're, you're comfortable with what lies before you, right? And so here in Joshua chapter 1, uh, in, uh, in verse 5, it says, I will not leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and of good courage, for to this people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. What's he saying here? This is the fulfillment of, of the promise I gave decades prior. You are going to accomplish what God has, has uh, said would happen decades ago. Therefore, Joshua and the people of God, you don't have to worry. I've got this. I'm going before you. I will drive them out. I will destroy your enemies. You simply have to trust and obey. Do what I've told you to do and see if you will not see the hand of God um, in, in, the, in the coming days. Now, as I speak this, I understand that maybe that's you today. You're facing struggles. You're facing trials. Your marriage is in trouble. You thought that you had, had found the love of your life and all of a sudden you find that they've been stepping out on you. They've been flirting around, or they've, they've, they're they not the person you thought they once were. And you're struggling with this. You're struggling with uh, your finances, and you don't understand it because you're giving your tithes, and you're you're working hard, and, and it seems like you never get beyond where you are. You, you, you brought your kids up in church, and you had them in vacation Bible school. You had them in Sunday school classes. You had them in youth groups. You had them in church, and they seem to be wandering away. You may be a person who has not abused your health, uh, your your health with uh, addictive substances, and you've tried to keep yourself somewhat fit, and all of a sudden you get a diagnosis that just doesn't make sense. What's God saying to you? Well, I think he's saying the same thing as he said to Joshua. He says, I will not leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and of good courage. I'm there. I'm there. I'm with you in your finances. I'm with you with your children. I'm with you in your marriage. I'm with you in your health. I'm with you in your job. I'm with you wherever you go. God is with his children. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Your children may wander away. Your spouse may wander off. Your, your employer may let you go. But God is with you. God is with you. Remember yesterday we talked about that child who reaches up and he holds his daddy's hands as they go through that dark um, place where they, it seems frightening. But maybe this is the time that we reach up and hold on to God's hand, where we spend more time in God's word, where we spend more time in God's house, where we spend more time on our knees in prayer to him. What is that doing? We're reaching up and grabbing on to the Lord. Instead of listening to music that brings us down, we're going to listen to praise music that lifts our spirit up. Instead of listening to the naysayers and the, and the destructive people who want to speak evil into, into our life, uh, we need to begin to listen to the 
Holy Spirit through his word. Get yourself into uh, godly counsel. Talk to your pastor. Talk to uh, a godly saint in your, in, your, in your church. Find somebody. Listen, this idea that we go through these valleys alone is a lie. Every believer goes through hard times. We're just very pretty good at masking it. We don't want other people to know we're going through hard times. But we all do. We all do. We need each other. Let me encourage you. Are you going through struggles? Are you, are you um, having a hard time today? Let me encourage you to get more in the Word of God. You say, Pastor, I don't have time. Then get on your phone. Download the U Bible there. Put it on as you do your chores, as you, as you drive down the road. Listen to uplifting Christian music. Get into church. Get counsel. So many people are, just get discouraged and they leave and they, they get depressed. And I understand these things. But that's not the option for you and I. We have to keep putting one foot in the front of the others. Because it's not just us that are, that are affected by the choices we make. But our children and our grandchildren also, who may not even know the Lord, are watching us. Let's be faithful. Let's go into this problem, this trial, this disease, this financial setback, into our marriage like Joshua did going into that promised land with those giants. Let's believe God. Amen? Amen. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying, God loves you and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.